Hey guys, here is the Westinghouse Bethany ceiling fan of the oak blades showing this time instead of the rosewood. Now I did say that I didn't that it doesn't look as nice on it, but and actually, surprisingly, it looks pretty good on this finish. To be honest, I thought it only looked good with the rosewood blades, like that it looked a lot better. But I actually won't even mind having seeing this installed like this. It actually looks pretty good with it. Like it kind of adds more character to it in some ways, in my opinion. But that's it. But I do. I I am leaning more towards the rosewood side. Cause I feel like it blends in a lot better. But this actually looks pretty good too. There are more fans that I feel like that are in this type of finish actually, but not in this much of a rustic like bronze finish. Maybe some brands do have them, but I haven't seen them like this one. But I don't know. I feel like the rosewood blades match it a lot better. And I still don't have the whites in it yet. So until I can actually find some the right size, it's going to have to be tested without them. And it runs high. I think the, the speed I was on it was um, medium, not high. Because I watched a video of, of the fans that I recorded in the Dominican Republic, those hardware stores, and they had the Westinghouse Bethany. And the ones that was there was on high and it went much faster than this one. So I'm guessing that maybe just something messed up with the speeds on this fan. And that's just my that's just my hypothesis. So yeah. Let me start it off on Oop, that's the wrong thing. Let me start it off on high. Actually let me get a top view of it from here. I do I actually could see a fan like this being installed in a walk cabin just so I understand why it's called Russic Bronze. But yeah, this fan actually does look pretty good with this blade side showing. I actually thought it, didn't, it would look a little off, but it actually suits it pretty well. Alright, now let me turn it on. Starting off on high, so like high medium. I really feel like this is medium because usually when you turn on fans on high, they, they'll start up faster. And it, that one kind of, it kind of um, lagged a little bit. Like when it turns on, it didn't like spin automatically right away. So I, if I turn this on high right away, see that was it's it's a little bit slower when it turns on. And when we turn this on high for a quick second and see how it goes fast right away. So that's an indication that it's only medium that this is actually medium speed and not high. So there is something wrong with it. With the high, I think the high speed is not working. So, so it's just medium, medium, and then low. Because even though Westinghouse isn't the best brand, I know this fan does go faster than this. And from the videos of the same exact, the same exact fan, the same finish that I saw on the on display, it went a lot faster than this. So something is definitely. It might be a capacitor issue or a um, the pull chain, but I think it's more the capacitor. So if you guys know, just let me know in the comment box below, and I'll let you guys know about it. And I'll see what I can do. This scene actually would look good in the bathroom too, like, if you had like a, a bathroom that had like a lot of furniture, a lot of like stuff like in this type of finish. Or in a bedroom. And, so, and a living room too, if you like modern fans. I actually, I don't dislike them but there I really do wish that they could be better but there are some of them that do catch my catch my eye and interest and this will be one of them this is one of the only fans that I feel like that isn't one of the one of the there are some fans that I like that are new but there are a good amount of them that I think look pretty ugly and that they look way too that they just don't even look like a, a proper ceiling fan if you really feel like they should just Make it look more basic, not like extremely fancy. So yeah, and this kind of fits right there. Not too. It's like just exactly how a fan should look like, in my opinion. Well, if it's modern, this is back when they didn't over exaggerate how fancy they look in details. So yeah, how like Hunter and Concert Market they really aren't doing as well. Like the Hunter fans, they're really changing. They're like redesigning all of their models, making them look a little bit funny in my opinion. But, 
they they do have the good old fans like the, the little profile that I have in the passport too, and many more of them. But yeah, let me uh, move this down to to the second medium. I really do think that it's, I really am 100% 100% positive that it's this medium, and it's not high because this. I have seen these fans go a lot faster than this, and this is actually, I did think it was high at first, but it doesn't, it actually doesn't really add up, that it would skip, it would go high, high, and then medium, so I really feel like it's medium, medium, and then high, I mean medium, medium, and low, but for a medium speed, it's actually pushing a good amount of air though, it's moving a lot more medium than the hard breeze cr cross ones did, and the, it's almost, it's moving the amount that, uh, it moves a lot more than Hamp that little Hampton Bay Clarkson did on medium. Yeah, it's almost similar, it's somewhat similar to the amount that Hampton Bay Carousel that I have is moving. So, in the Hampton Bay Carousel when it was installed, that thing did crank out a good, am good amount of air when it was installed in the swimming room. So, yeah. So, this isn't one of the worst, it's not the worst thing you can buy today, but... It is actually a pretty good air movement. Now for whoa. Some other Wilson House fans that I have tested out that do blow a good amount of air is um the Comet. That is actually a pretty good air mover. I tested it out in in the Dominican Republic. And for it to actually cool down the room pretty good down there, that's actually if it can cool down the room pretty good there, then it should be able to do it up here too, because a lot of residential rental fans down there, they don't move any air at all. So that was actually, so it actually is quite impressive to move down, to move air over there. So if, considering that it's a different type of air, since it's up here, it's more humid down there. It's more dry air, and some of the fans that ha don't really move too much when it's dryish air. This is a different climate, so that's the main issue. And the vintage is somewhat okay. It's not the best, but it does on high. It does move a pretty good amount of air. Medium's decent, but though it's not too much. Euro swirls all right too. Well, it does move more, but but yeah, those ones are pretty good fans. They're not. They're one of the first accounts better fans that I've tested out. And I am planning to get a Westinghouse Petite sometime in the future. I was gonna put one in the kitchen. I was thinking about it in um antique brass, but. I really doubt my mom would put, want me to put one up in there. So yeah. So I am planning to get Western House with heat, a couple more Bethany's in the future. Um, vintage, Vintage 2, Comet, Euro Swirl, Swirl, the um, Casanova, the Princess, and a few more. There are, there are some models I do like from them since I used to to see like the catalog that they had from the hardware stores in Dominican when I was a kid. So that's kind of why I have a sentimental area for them. All right, now let me shut it off and do a spin down. Yeah, actually, a lot of people do say what kind of fans are bad. I feel like it's either depends on how good they're being taken care of. Cause there are some, there are some newer fans that aren't, they aren't good as old fans. Don't get me wrong, but they aren't horrible. But I just feel like that if you just take them care of them and don't like overuse them and stuff like that, like overuse them or like just like hit them with stuff, like I think they'd last a lot longer. Cause I have seen some of the newer fans that they are. They have a good amount of bent blades, so that could also be a reason why they don't blow as much air. Which makes sense. But yeah, this this fan though, I really... If it was on high, I really could I would... I'm not going to say I'd recommend it, because I can't really tell you for sure how good of an air mover it is on high, but like... But when I did test... But when I felt it in the store, it did move a pretty good amount of air. I was standing... There was one on high. And, um... I, I was stood right underneath it, and... And I compared it with the Katie Can Doctor that I was on, and it was, it, it didn't move as much, obviously, but it actually, out of all the other fans that was in the store, besides the KDK that were on, it moved the most. 
So yeah, that was it was a pretty impressive. I was surprised that it moved so much, considering that it was a residential fee and that was in the Dominican Republic. So that's all I gotta say about this. Well, the earth movement, but and it does take a bit to slow down. But yeah, the Bethany has always been probably my favorite model. Or the modern looking, or out of all the modern fans that they have there. The ones that I feel like, the one, my probably my favorite one out of all of them is the Constantinople because it looks very vintage. But for all the modern fans, this specific model right here, and this finish has always been my favorite. So that's why I like, I've asked Mark if he can, I told him in the video, like a comedy, like, oh, I really want to get this one day. And, and that's why he gave it to me as a surprise fan. Which I am very thankful for. I have all the parts for it. I have the mounting bracket. I'm not sure if he had it with a down rod, but it's possible, but eh, it's not a big deal. And the fan has come to a complete stop, and that will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.